Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy, weather rates certified 11 years in a row. Everybody, we've got storms out there, thunderstorms ripping through the Salt Lake Valley here at the ABC4 studios. You can see those dark clouds overhead, 61 degrees, and the hail is coming down. It's pea-sized. We saw it in Woodland Hills, so Utah County, part of it. Peggy snapping this video. Look, it looks like it's just bouncing right off the deck, but it's really coating the grill there. Not a surprise. These are strong storms with wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour coming through. Storm tracker radar narrows in on exactly where we're seeing them. We're actually panning the area as we zoom in, you can see down in Utah County there was a cell. This is the lightning coming over the Salt Lake Valley towards West Jordan as well as in Farmington. Look at this line that's going to move through the lake and it is going to impact the northern Wasatch Front as we head through the next hour or so. Cache Valley and Hiram also dealing with that. Let's look a little closer at that Farmington cell putting down some lightning. Again, that lightning counter in the corner of your screen. Now, lightning is Utah's number one deadliest weather related killer. So we have to be extremely careful because we've now moved into that season. Towards Hiram, Cache Valley, we've seen some storms pushing over towards Bear Lake as the radar kind of sweeps the region, so you know what to expect. Live view from Hiram Reservoir where we've got water on the camera, the rain coming down, heavy at times with these storms rolling through the area and gusty outflow winds. Satellite radar shows you that trough. It's triggering that lift, which is allowing for those storms to impact northern Utah. It was all about central and southern Utah last night, but that changed as we rolled into today as we see those storms tracking to the east. Cloud cover in the base but the activity right now along the Wasatch Front. The threat of thunderstorms slides to eastern Utah as we head into tomorrow. Clearer conditions, but showers won't be gone. No colder air comes moving in. As we get through what to expect, look at this up towards Cache Valley for tonight. Scattered showers in northern and eastern Utah. The central portion of the state could tap into that over towards the Wasatch Plateau as well as the I-70 corridor. Overnight, colder air comes funneling in. We get wraparound moisture and the potential for a little lake enhancement there over the Great Salt Lake. So the mountains will be picking up accumulating snow and we're going to see sloppy conditions with colder air. And if those showers hit for the overnight, there will be some spots, the benches, maybe the valleys that see some flurries coming in. Here we are by tomorrow in the afternoon and evening, some lingering showers with cooler temperatures. By Wednesday, things start to change. Warmer air moves back in and we'll see temperatures jumping back to seasonal. Here's a look at that snowfall. Yes, we are talking about snow in late April. It's going to definitely impact the Uintas and you can see the Wasatch Mountains anywhere from two to six inches in these spots. The Cottonwoods could see up to 10, really depending on what happens with the lake. There's a chance that we do a little better over in that portion of the state. Northern mountains could pick up snow and again, Wasatch back, mountain valleys could maybe see that slush turning over to snow, but again, not much in the way of impact, but you could see some flurries flying tomorrow with colder air in place. 40s and 50s, and again, that would be in the morning because our overnight lows will be in the 30s along the Wasatch front. 50s in Vernal, 60s in Moab, eastern Utah sees the potential for storms. Northern Utah sees the potential for showers. Then we dry things out and a ridge of high pressure sets up. Winds and breezy conditions in St. George with sunshine and some 90s. Yes, this ridge of high pressure will flex its muscles, and right now it looks pretty strong. 50s turn to 60s. How about some 70s? And yes, there are some days where we hit 80 along the Wasatch Front. Now that would be towards the latter half of the weekend into next week, but drying out by Wednesday. Showers and thunderstorms out there right now. To stay on top of these storms, download the ABC4 Weather app. It's easy to do. Go ahead and grab your cell phone, snap a picture of this. It's a QR code. It takes you to the app store. You can download the app for free and then you have Utah's most accurate forecast on the go.